Yeah, so uh, fucking got that, uh, got that top hat done behind us. Um, it's now the Monday, it's like fucking, what time it is? Fucking half five. Um, but yeah, check had it about a three hour on this. Fucking, it was alright, a little bit top out. But I put an advertisement out on Facebook for someone to join me and Kai whenever he gets back. Because he's a bit AWOL at the moment with his car. And the fucking people are ripping fuck out of what I was offering. But, I'm not looking for just a fucking five year at least earning that. Less than that, what I'm offering. Put it on a, Brit, a few Britain jobs, uh, job pages. And uh, I, were, I spent five year on less than that. Um, and I know times have changed, but they've not changed that fucking much. Oh fuck me, there's a line here. I'll have that come. No, it's my line. That's it. Yeah, I spent five year on less than that. A lot less. And for the other time I pay. And the continuity and guaranteed, you know, turn up, get paid, no stress. You know, fucking... I don't think it's too bad. I've had plenty of people want to fucking start. But the thing is nowadays people, I don't know whether it's YouTube but it's fucking, you know, you need to prove what you're worth and price work does that. It proves what you're worth. And it takes a long time. It takes a long time to be able to earn good fucking money because I know I don't earn much more than what these fucking people say in the one on day work. And I'm fucking lightning some days. <laughs> some days not. Some days fucking wank. But... But yeah, right, I best go fucking home. Child free tonight, I'm fucking knackered. Right, we got, there. got a few hours work finishing, one little peak off tomorrow. And then we'll see where we're going. And uh, we'll see who's um, joining me and Kai next whenever, uh, whenever we can create somewhat of a gang again. Uh, see, you next, uh, see you next video. So, uh, fucking noise machines here. So yeah, started this video, well I wasn't going to make this video, but it's a little, nice little run. I'll go about doing a, uh, a garage, garage top out, you know, garage paint. You do this like brick or what, or fucking stone, whatever you want. I need to work on my camera skills, I'll be doing a few power train edits at weekend, and uh, for comps I've been going to, and uh, a nice bit of stone, that in it. There, a nice bit of stone. Right, show myself. Uh, that's my fucking camera setup. Fucking profiles on, pumped on, behind face, sorted. So they set up for stone, two at bottom, 3b3. You know, little tubs, tubs on, sorted. Gobbo. Cheesecake. Look at that. Some tearing in it. Just before it starts tearing. So yeah, we get some footage. So, uh, it's fucking. It's 10 to 10. Um, got that done in about half an hour, but with stone, you just can't go up too quick. You know, it doesn't matter how quick you can lay it, it fucking fall over. So, it will actually fall over. Yes, I've done it before. So, yeah, check it out. Yeah, it's like three and a bit course. Fucking lightning with cuts, like you say. Just put your cut in, piece up to it. Four inch lap, roughly. Same again. And then tighter your joint, it's the better it looks. So, right, I'm going to get this, this little bit on footage for you. Hey guys, Harry here. And I'm um, back with a little voiceover uh, on today's Britling vlog. So, you saw the beginning part of the video where um, I said, you know, I'm like three weeks behind, so this is like, this garage was done over three weeks ago, I think now. Um, so yeah, I'm behind, got a lot of footage, so it's taking time to get through and edit it. You know, like this video is, I'd, I'm probably on my, like, my fifth hour of editing still, I'd say, I'd say every, every ten minutes of a video, uh, is like an hour editing, so if, you know, sixty minutes, probably six hours in total editing with everything in it. Um, but it's, it's not, it's just because of how how my household is at the moment, like, um, I don't really go into too much detail about it, but uh, at the moment our lads 
just um, he got declined from his basically the mainstream school he's in. So um, he only goes a couple hours a week, and of we're having to find, we're having to sort out a special facil- uh, special school or whatever for him at the moment. So um, just going for all that at the moment. It's just a bit, it's just a bit stressful because we don't really have a. He gets, you know, he don't really go to school effectively, and uh, you know, um, his routine's a bit in shifts at the moment because. Uh, uh, you know, he's trying to get diagnosed at the moment with uh, saying he's autistic and stuff like that. So it's just a bit difficult, you know. He don't really sleep very much. I think he sleeps like like four or five hours a night, and then he'll be up, and then we're just running around. It's just is is extra, you know. You know what people don't realise with like autism and stuff like that. It's not it's not a disability. It's just extra. So he thinks a little bit differently. So <laughs> well. Other kids do, but you know it's it's hard going through. It's been challenging last, you know, last since he was about two. Since it, you know, it becomes apparent. It's just very it's been very difficult when he's when he's, you know, grabbing his fucking shit and spreading it all over and fucking. There's all sorts of stuff kids do uh, like that, but it's extra in it. You know, I don't see it as a as a disability as as such or a, it's called additional needs because it's extra in it it's extra needs so but you know he's doing well he's doing well he's the lad and um, he'll be five in the next month and uh, hopefully he'll be in full time school in within six months and I'll we'll have a little bit more of a routine to the house will be a bit more steady you know because um, Mel's been on about coming back um, I've got a new lad starting very soon to help me and Kai out, because um, Kai's pretty good on the trowel when he's left, on the just on the trowel, like he probably excels the best on the trowel rather than just loading out. So if I can get it, it's like extra trowel hand, it's an extra trowel hand basically, uh, for when we're out on plots. Um, so if I can get him just on the trowel, constantly running to a line, he can run to a line pretty much up to like neck height now. So. Um, you know, so it'll help a little bit, and then if our last comes back in the next six months, because we don't really have any childcare at the moment, we don't have any. Um, my dad, uh, who used to be my labourer, he's he, he has he has. Uh, I'll add a couple of nights a week, you know, just to take the uh, strain off. But we don't really have like a village as such, so we just. Uh, that's why she, um, she had, it was we had a right time when she used to work with us, but that's why we haven't really had. Uh, she's been full time carer basically for him, so. Um, but anyway, um, enough of that, enough of that, um, um, I'll get through these videos eventually and uh, I'll be able to have a bit, sit down a little bit more and have like my more, um, affirmative thoughts, you know, I can, I can get my thoughts together a little bit more, you know, cause the, you know, the house is so, <laughs> so loud, so loud all the time with, with how our lad is, you know, he's, uh, he's slow. <laughs> It's amazing, anyway. It's amazing. Um, I've had to buy. I've had to buy. This is a little bit of an example. I've had to buy. Well, we have locks and everything. All the doors have locks on them, like bathroom door locks in our house. It's something you have to have, just have to do. And and like we, I left the salt out. You know, salt as condiment used on loads of food. It will. It get. It gets excited by salt. So if I left, I left the salt bar out, and we've had. Two full like sixty, I think like seventy pence from Aldi, but full salt pots all over the house. But that's just that's just the least. That's just the least. Of, that's like the least of what he does on a regular basis. I think we've had what did we have? Two dozen eggs. We left the fucking lock off the fridge. Two dozen eggs all over the fucking floor the other week. Uh, at least it isn't shit. Shit's the hardest to clean up, you know. Especially like four, it's fucking a lot of shit. <laughs> Especially when it's fucking spread everywhere. That's why I've got industrial strength carpet cleaner. Uh, I need a fucking industrial strength fucking like Titan Hoover actually at the moment because I've been going through Hoovers like no tomorrow. Um, but yeah, you know, it's one of them things. Um, but yeah, I used to get a little bit of flack years ago when I was drinking on the channel, like, and that's the main reason I stopped drinking for our lads, you know. It takes, you know, it's, it's additional. It takes a bit more of additional looking after than just a normal kid. So, but you know, it's something that'll probably, you know, when it gets 
drips or something when he gets old if hopefully he wants to work with me but he'll be probably become obsessed with it like I am but anyway anyway enough of that enough of that so um, today's little topic I'm gonna go a little bit more into things today you know um, I've I, I, I didn't fucking I didn't do any washing we, we got behind on this washing because and the washers going in the background so I've got washer and dryer going I think I've done about six six or seven washers today um, and because I got a new dryer recently also and then and because I because I was coming in and passing out for the, for the last couple of days like the washing's just fucking mounted up madly because you normally know, like Rex his bed every night. I think his bed sheets need changing like every two or three days. We some of the shit he does, and <laughs> even being in even being in nappies at like five, you won't believe like it's fucking because <laughs> they just fucking they oh fuck me anyway anyway just get off topic now. We have to. So sorry if you hear the dryer and that. So anyway, um, so um, basically. I'm going to talk about working late today. Working late, you see me in videos doing a little bit of uh, working late. I'm recording this at like fucking three in the morning because um, I mean I'm working in shifts. Me and our last do literally working shifts. Like she'll we, because our lad only sleeps about four five four hours a night roughly, and then he wake up and then that's it. He's just awake. It's like you've given him crack cocaine. That's just that's, that's just his version of stimming. They say they said that's what that's what they've said. The uh, you know he's uh, he's sent off his sort of thing. He's said he's, he's his version of stimming. It talks to his end a little bit, but he basically just runs and gets really excited. So that we get that most most mornings at like five o'clock. Uh, I think I, th I always say it's a bit like a bit like gambling in a casino. You get like. House is always winning, so he's always winning, and we're always fucking, fucking four, 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 five nights out of seven. He's up, fucking like three, four in the morning. So we sort of, I've, I tend to now, I get in from work. I, if, if I've worked late, I'll get in, go sleep, and then wake up again, probably like ten, eleven, maybe like twelve. Um, a bit like I have tonight. This is a Friday, luckily, so I'll get sleeping, and then like our last is up now doing stuff, she's putting up washing away and whatnot. And then we'll get stuff done while he's like sort of sleeping. Then I'll probably go back to sleep because I've got to go to work and she'll stay up when he gets up. And then we'll put his locks on and then she'll go back to sleep. And uh, and then we take him to school for a couple of hours at like half twelve. So it's a little bit, a little bit in shifts. And then if my dad's got him tonight, so we, we have like a night off. We basically get to get on top of everything else in the week that we couldn't have stayed on top. We couldn't stay on top of. Um, so you know, it's uh, it's it's just why I'm recording at three in the morning. I just need to get this video out because I was trying to keep up like two videos a week. So, but yeah, working late. So for me, I work late. I work on you know on price all the time. Uh, last few weeks, particularly, I've had really no price work. Uh, well, no builds, no builds to do. But I've had some alterations. I've had some bits of patching and whatnot. And the firm I work for, the massive, and they've got a lot of a lot of things come up. A lot of patching, a lot of day work orders come in, um, and they need a lot of stuff doing. And I've got a lot of tools, so I just I get asked to go and do. Uh, remedial. I won't even call it patching because I, I I think I see patching as like bits of pointing, but it's mainly remedial work that needs that I get like I get like a fair bit of remedial work. I have over the years anyway. Just being a one-on-one, -on -one, you do get. Will you just go and alter this? Will you just go and alter that? And they pay me pretty well for it, you know. Um, at least at least a, a decent uh, a day work, you know. What I mean, like a high-end day work. So I, I I've been doing that for the last couple of weeks. So. Not had a lot to film since I did these garages. I've, I did a I did a little top out build. I did a little video on a top out build. You might have seen some stuff on the Instagram. Um, but because where I live, it's it, it's like an I can travel like an hour in each direction, and I can be on I can be in like West Yorkshire, Halifax, way, way on back other end of Leeds, and then I can travel like an hour in the other direction and be even. Uh, in Nottingham, you know what I mean. Um, you could travel as far as fucking Derby, really, if you, if you had to, up like an hour and 
now I'm fucking 20 or something for it that's like is he the bricky fucking land um, so yeah I, I'm pretty central in Doncaster where I live so I, I can travel eat, and, and with the prices now quick and get it down as long as I can get there for 8 so you know you're sort of setting off at like half 6 as long as I can get there for 8 I can earn a wage no matter where I'm going um, and I just do that at the moment just Work is picking up though, work is picking up, so I, hopefully I can stay local. And the manager I'm working I'm working for mostly at the moment is all his sites are about within like half an hour from my house, 40 minutes max, so in like a circumference. So I ain't going to travel too far at the moment. So I think after after you see these next few videos, you'll probably just see some more walls and go. I, I probably haven't done a boundary wall video in a while, so I, I think I've got a boundary wall coming up, so I'll try to get on that. Get a bit more headcam on that, um, but in this video here, um, I turn, turn my headcam off a little bit um, because the camera off because there was some you know manage, higher management coming around. I just don't make it known that I'm recording all the time. You know, health and safety and whatnot. Like this T-shirt, I've been these T-shirts now because they're not actually like legit health and safety. They're not actually legit eye visors. So I, even though you can. Under Armour do like Ivy's stuff, it needs to have strips on and shit, you know, even though this is like technically Ivy's material. I've binned them off because, to be quite honest, they make, make me all fat as fuck. And, uh, and this this smell after a while, like that poly, that, that, like, that like football shirt fucking sort of material, polyester or whatever shit, it just smells after a while, you can't get a smell out of it, so I've binned that off and I'm going to look at uh, some, some different stuff in the coming weeks. Um, but anyway, I want to talk a little bit. I wasn't going to do as long a voiceover. I've got onto it now. I'm just going to pause this and come back to you. So, um, so yeah, I'm I'm going to do a little topic today. Um, I'm working late. I've been watching Mahoney Brickwork. Um, he was like number two to Charlie in the Super Troll. We're watching Charlie's stuff. You know, he's mainly doing footings. Um, I don't like doing footings. It's just the where I live and. In the sort of areas I live in, the footings are wank. You know, I think it is changing a little bit. We're, f we're finally catching up a little bit. I've seen more footings being scraped, but I do think it is it is just to do with the ground where I, where we live. You know, like it's very hilly around a lot where I live. Um, it can be a little bit flat if you travel out certain areas like east east coast, but you know, when you in in up in the hills like in Yorkshire, you know, it's which the majority of the time we you know I'm working on a big fucking hill now and it's just I think the ground is just shit compared and, and a lot of the firm ground there's so many little groundwork firms now, little like two man bands, one man bands, there's just a lot of them weren't scraping them. A lot of places and because of obviously the comp competition now, obviously up north there's like there's just like sort of shortage of work in Yorkshire and everywhere else doesn't seem to be as bad but there is, you know, there's just they don't like to scrape it for you. The ground's a bit shittier, and most of the footings that I've seen on sites just aren't worth a wank building. They're just not. The rates are fucking a lot lower than down south. I think when it comes to footings, it's up north. And I, I I've, I've I had a chance to speak to, to like any of the any of the YouTube guys about it or the Instagram guys. I, that's why I'm going to try to make it to the Super Trial this year. Um, but it is, it's just a massive, there's a massive, it's like a foreign country going down south now, you know, like, I know that traditional Bricky Dean, whatever his fucking name is, he's been doing some fucking protests and shit. I'll not get into my views on all that, but, you know, it's a bit of a lost fucking cause at this point with this country, trying to do shit like that, you know. Um, you know, and I'm not going to go into too much, I'll get demonetised and and whatnot, but the censorship in this country, you, you can out, you know, it's hard, you know, you're just going to get tarnished as, with stuff he's doing at the moment, he's just going to get tarnished as a Tommy Robinson type, and then you, your message is going to get stifled anyway in the, me in the media, you know, YouTube will censor it, you know, with the, well, with the Covid stuff that got censored, you know, it, a lot of the time it's just, it's hard to even even though we, I agree with a lot of the stuff he was saying in some of his latest videos, it's just it's just hard to you're you just mixing your, you end up mixing yourself up with the wrong fucking 
and then your message gets stifled because you get mixed with the wrong types, you know what I mean? And then it's hard, but the message that, you know, I, I, I do applaud him for trying, at least. But I tried to leave a comment on one of his videos, it got fucking deleted straight away by YouTube censorship, it, you know. You can't say fuck all, so I don't try and bother, I don't bother, I don't bother voicing my opinions on it, I just get fucking demonetized. Then none of you guys have seen my videos anyway, so. Anyway, I'm not going to get into that, it's not what the videos are about anyway, but, um, so yeah, so yeah, that, that's what i if I can get a chance to meet the guys, I can talk a little bit more about footing, so, well yeah, I've been watching Collie City, just doing the footings at the moment, you know, supers are in a crazy way with the fucking, but I'm on them at the end of the day, so if I can fucking get, if I, I'm not, you know, I'm not the stickler, stickler, stickler with, you know, I'm no Derby Brickwork when it comes to cavities, but I rub my hand up them, make sure my trays are clean, I can still fucking make money on supers, so supers are, you know, for me, uh, you know, the, 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 the deterioration on your body with the bending, it's just not worth it, I think, compared to just what you can earn on supers as well, you know, you know, if people, you know, footings are good, but at the end of the day, you're laying slower, bent double, you are, you're laying slower in that, comp you're in a compromised position. I'm a 12 year veteran fucking powerlifter now, I know what positions are good to move in and what aren't. You're just in a bad position being bent. And until you actually hurt your, hurt your, you know, you hurt your back, and you realize, like, I hurt my back a couple of years, uh, a year and a half ago, I've just started back lower body, you know, full power uh, lifting, like all, all, all lifts. And I know how debilitating it is when you actually hurt your body, but the movement, the movement pattern for bending in footings is just bad bending below your knee movement pattern just isn't good that repetitive strain you you put your back at a compromised position you know I, I never did any personal training certifications but i've been fucking you know f fanatical about fitness and lifting and that for like you know fucking 15 year now um and it's just a compromised position there's that all you know doing footings like long term i, I was watching guys the other day on a Gleason job doing them and I was like I could just see rim of their helmets and I was stood at fucking I was stood at fucking road level and it's just a very bad it's just a very bad fucking long term it's very bad to fucking you know putting your body on in putting your body in their movements because once your discs go once your back goes you cannot you know until it goes you'll think it won't ever go but it will go eventually and it will, and, and it, it just, it, it's, you know, it will go eventually. You can be a rare genetic outlier where it, it, it won't go for years and years, but it can, you know, even one of my mates who's fit as hell, fucking, it went when he was in his mid 30s. One, one of them went when he was in his fucking early 40s. And once it's gone, you, once that, once your discs are herniated, once your disc, whichever disc it is, is herniated, and it's, or it's bulging and it'll keep slipping out, it'll keep slipping out and you get fucking major pain, it'll be, you know, almost fucking paralyzing with the pain. And it's horrible pain as well. I've, my back's gone a handful of times, uh, normally related to lifting, because uh, I don't do footings for that reason, but it's paralyzed, it's fucking, brings a tear to your eye trying to walk about, you're just crying, walking about, like you're fucking in that much pain, it's horrible. So until you experience that properly, and because it can happen to anyone and that is why you're not you know I, I try to stay away from them because you know the fucking shooting pain you get you get you get it's so near your neck it's, it goes straight to your brain and it's so like like fucking toothache so painful so it's just not worth it in my opinion when it comes to fighting so that's why but that's what charlie's doing at the moment so i'd like to see a little bit more of his view on the supers but and then there's there's mahoney doing the doing his private stuff doing his trying to grow his business and he's been doing a lot of late days I just want to talk a little, touch a little bit on the late days I wasn't going to talk as long as I have but I've got into a tangent now um, so yeah I've talked about working late obviously I've been working late a lot of years you know last past four or five years since I got serious on YouTube you know since I started the YouTube I got serious about earning money um, I've done late days and I've realised late days cover up bad habits you know if you start doing builds and staying late to earn away, you know, a lot of the time you're staying late to earn fucking extra money or you know, make some pay. And a lot of the time, if you're having to work late, there's something wrong because I learned that it covers up 
you know, it enforces bad habits. So you want to learn to be efficient with your time. That's why I'm using profiles at the moment. I'll go into more depth on profiles in another video, but and, and and the efficiency of them because I was, you know, I was on the fence really with profiles for a lot of years. I used them, didn't use them, but. At the end of the day, if you run into a line, even when it comes to a, a competition like Spec Mix, you run into a line, you know, that's the most efficient time, that's where you're getting most of your bricks down. Building corners, you just aren't, so it's just an efficiency thing, it's a time thing, it's an X's and O's thing, you know, it's just numbers. But, you know, that is why, you know, you've got to, if you're having to work late on something, it means you're probably building it a little bit inefficient. Some things are just fiddly, some things are just time consuming, but if you can try and work no more than eight hour, or not, ideally like seven hours like laying, and then just analyze what you're doing, record what you're doing, you know, and you know, basically you won't have to work as late because after after so many hours, after like seven hours, you just you're just slowing down, you're less efficient, you're tired. And if you and if you're recovering on point, like mine's not on point at all, and it hasn't been on like that for like four or five years ever since our lad's been about. Um, my recovery hasn't been on point, and I know I have had to become efficient with my time in the last like two years. I've been like pretty much teetotal for two years. Well, I have been teetotal, not pretty much. I have been teetotal for two years now, two years in August, and I've had to, I've had to learn to be efficient with my time. I've, I've had to realise that. You know, if I'm going to work late, it's going to, I'm going to be basically breaking records. I'll be breaking personal records if I'm working late these days. You know, I don't work late. A lot of the time I work late solo because I'm just loading out because, of, because I've had laborers blob. But pretty much, you don't, you only should be working late now to break records, break your own little personal records. So you should be nailing more work, you know, in seven hours than you've done before if you're trying to become efficient and faster. But if you're wanting to work late, you... you you can only do it on an odd day and you normally break it and you're normally sort of nailing more work than you've ever done before. That's that's how I that's how I put 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 it down to now. You know, you just working late a lot of time you just gotta leave it. Leave it, come back the next day and you're gonna get it done a lot quicker than slogging away for two, three, four hours, plodding away late on, it's getting dark, just fuck it off and come back the next day. At the end of the day it'll still be there in the morning, cocker. And uh, it ain't gonna fucking run off in the night. So, but yeah, that's my little voiceover about working late. I'm gonna go into more detail in other videos. I'm running out of time today. I'm gonna go train. I've got a new program started. So, right. Uh, thanks for thanks for listening to the voiceover, and I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you at the end of the video.
So yeah, it's uh, what time we are now. Sure, I'm not bullshitting you. Half ten. I started that at like quarter past nine. So there's about four, five stones, four stones put on top of that. I've got my app up. Um, so yeah, I think that peak from wall plate, which is where I started, is worth about 170, something like that. 180 maybe. But that's what after the fucking 20 percent. Uh, release and pay cut because that's what the price is. I've got priceless from two years ago 20% it dropped so yeah you add 20% to that what other trades are getting because other trades aren't a pay cut so that's 20% of 180 fucking well 10% is 18 36 so I thought you could call it you know that should be worth 220 you know pair of D's in day 440 you know and then we're off two days tomorrow it's fucking smashing it down you wouldn't think it now would you yeah, yeah, check valley See, look, recession building site, nothing in front. This is what you call a recession site. One house to top out, one garage. So yeah, all right, I'm gonna uh, go, for, go for a drink and I'll be, uh, get these about eight stones on and point up and go on. All right, I'll see you when I've finished. Them full joints. So you went always with the bricky on you there, didn't I? Like fucking close up. A drone. Right. Point is face pointed.
bit taller. Well, yeah, I'll just show you the finish. That's with, with this jointer here. That one, and then that one. Keep switching it. You don't want to be any bigger than that size, though. So, for that point, that ideally. So, I'll just show you. Just a few little bits. You can get proper, proper tuck, almost like tuck stone pointers. You can get proper ones, so. I might get one in the future if I if I'm on this for a long time I'll be I'll be getting some tungsten chisel and stone pointer action. But this that does for now. Uh, yeah, show you show you the finishes that you can get. That's unpointed. And then you know that's pretty much just a little brush here. Let's see, you just see I'm taking off taking off these little bits here, so a little bit, just get your finger in there, get a get a little scrub. You don't want to see that scrubbing the joint off a little bit, you don't want that. So you just can't give it too much, you just want to brush the fucking stones ideally. So, same again, look at that, it's a little bit like that. There you go, that's it. A little bit fade it in a little bit. It's all an art really, this part. This is where, see what's there, stone, sorted. A little bit needs filling in there. Little bits like that, you want to try and get them off, get them as tidy as you can. So we'll show that's the finish you can get with that. That's the finish you can get with that sort of brush, sort of like your standard, standard sweeping brush head, rough. Now we've got a bit more of a rougher, rougher version, it's like a shoe brush. Now to be a little bit careful of that. So, a little bit more time consuming that one, but it does a better job. Don't brush your joints off, but personally, because, you know, I, I like that. That's good for like the day after, or on an evening. But personally, I just like this one. Let's get a quick, this is how I do it. Get a quick, lucky one solver. Catch a little bit of the joint sometimes, make a little bit. That is good enough in my book. That's a good enough finish. You're going to get jet washed after anyway, and. You just can't get, you know, unless you go around polishing every fucking stone, you're not going to get the most immaculate finish without a jet wash, so. Um, so yeah, just a little bit as well. A little bit to do. You see, it leaves a good finish, you know, so. Right, I'm going to point back and go, and go on. I've got these couple of, I've got these couple of, a couple of stones here to replace. See, there's got a few down there. Can you see? That's what it should be, and that's what I've put in. So I'm going to replace them few down there. I've got to come back in. I was going to build these garage pillars. I can't get in, so I'll come back for them. Right. Ten past twelve. Hopefully, I'll be done for half one. All right. See you in a bit. So that was the video. Hope you enjoyed. Um, changed me look once again since last video. Um, but yeah, it's been a long time to edit that, so hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video.